Hi there and welcome back. So let's take a look at the working mechanism of the lymphatic system. If all goes well and if not then what are the disorders that it may lead to. Okay. So the lymphatic system produces white fat cells known as lymphocytes and there are two types of lymphocytes the T cells and the B cells. They both travel through the lymphatic system. As they reach the lymph nodes or the gas stations or the rest area, they are filtered and become activated by contact with virus, bacteria, foreign particles and so on in the lymph fluid. From this stage, the pathogens or the invaders are known as antigenes. Okay? To fight against these antigenes, antibodies are formed. Right? So, as the lymphocytes become activated, they form antibodies and start to defend the body. They can also produce antibodies from memory if they have already encountered the specific pathogen in the past. Collections of lymph nodes are concentrated in the neck, armpits and groins. We become aware of this when we see the swollen glands right, in response to the illness. So what happens, it is in the lymph nodes that the lymphocytes first encounter the pathogens, communicate with each other and set off, and set off their defensive response. Activated lymphocytes then pass further up the lymphatic system so that they can reach the bloodstream and now they are equipped with the entire circulatory system. Now they are equipped to spread the immune response throughout the body through the blood circulation. The lymphatic system and the action of lymph, lymph, lymphocytes of which the body has trillions. So we have trillions of lymphocytes in our body form part of what immunologists call the adaptive immune response. They are highly specific and long lasting responses they can create to the particular pathogens. So we talked about the swollen glands, basically what it is, enlarged lymph nodes. Right? So it can happen in this process of creating the immune response. <clears throat> either because they are directly infected or there is a reaction to the infection. In either case, bottom line is we end up having enlarged lymph nodes. So we can have a, a fever or a mono that is a viral infection or the inflammation of tonsils or a streps thought for which the medical name is pharyngitis, right? So anything is possible. But imagine that the lymph system, if, is, if it is not working properly, if there are obstructions, injuries, um, anything goes wrong in the uh, lymph, flow of the lymph throughout the system, then it may lead to the blockage, it may lead to infection, inflammation and sometimes even cancer, right? So, what is lymphoma? Lymphoma is basically the cancer of the lymph, the lymphatic system. And that is the most concerning for everybody and for the underwriters to look at the extra right? So, we normally see the Hodgkin's lymphoma, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, what it boils down to is there is a specific uh, white blood cell known as red Stenberg cells. The presence or absence of that determines whether we are dealing with Hodgkin's lymphoma or non Hodgkin's lymphoma. Okay? Now, generally, what happens, this cancer that affects the lymphatic system is usually secondary cancer. That means it has spread from a primary tumor such as a breast cancer or a nearby regional lymph nodes. 
then we may see the infection or the inflammation that may be filled with the pus that is again typical uh, disorder that we frequently encounter it could be local like a uh, inflammation of tonsil or it could be a, a generalized inflammation or infection that could be widespread and it could range from sepsis to upper respiratory tract infection and this is very common again that edema i was just talking about so lymphedema is very frequent very common and normal uh, site are the arm of the leg that we frequently encounter the skin may get tight hard these things are again common um obstruction can also result from surgery or radiation therapy or injury and sometimes it could be even congenital also there are laundry list of disorders as it relates to the to the lymphatic system i am just sharing few frequently encountered or something uh, sometimes are so interesting that it's worth mentioning here so lymphocytosis we know this that you have a higher than normal number of lymphocytes um when something is out there in your small intestine because of loss of lymph uh, tissue is called intestinal lymphangiectasia okay and it may lead to the loss of protein uh, albumin you name it rare lung disease or lymphangioleomyopathosis and what it is is there is abnormal muscle like cells begin to grow out of control in your lungs lymph nodes and kidney mesenteric lymphadenitis is what in the your abdomen you can connect with the mesenteric in the abdomen there is inflammation of the lymph nodes as simple as that right and what doctors do what surgeons do they try to use the ct scan and mri to figure out where is the exact location the blockage and what is the right course of treatment to be done right in a full lymphatic system i have been telling to you guys that there is um, a lymphatic and immune system so we now need to switch from lymphatic to immune system when we come back soon and then we'll continue further take care bye bye